Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Sephora haul. As you can tell from the title, it's another Sephora haul. So some of this stuff is a little bit newer, so I haven't had too much chance to try it, but this is everything that I've purchased since my last Sephora haul, and that's how I work my Sephora hauls. I do like to play around with things, give a little bit of first impression when I show you. Two of the products I actually forgot to put in my last two Sephora hauls, so you will be seeing them in this one. So the two products that I forgot to mention in my past two Sephora hauls have been hair masks because they were in my shower. So I'm just going to get them out of the way so that I know I've hauled them for you guys. The first one I picked up was from IGK and they have really cool packaging. It's called the Prenup Instant Hair Spray Mask. I love the idea about this because it's an instant hair mask so you only need to put this in your hair for a minute and then rinse it out and you have conditioned hair. It worked for me, I liked it, however I've used this less than 10 times. I think I've used this maybe 7 and it feels completely empty. I think I do have one or two uses but with that being said I think this was $38 and if it's going to run out out of maybe 10 times tops of use not worth it for me. So there's definitely not enough product in here. It just ran out really fast. I know I have long hair but I don't abuse it with the product. I don't like oversaturate it or anything. I used enough. It just doesn't last me as long as a cream mask which I'm going to share with you. Another one I've been testing out and this is from Amika. It's their nourishing mask. It's an intensive conditioning and repair mask. The packaging looks like this and I've used this more than 10 times and I still have plenty left. And that's what should happen for a hair mask. You shouldn't have to spend that much money and not get that many uses. So this one I have been loving. The smell of this is divine. You need to smell this. And I wanted to find something, just to try something else different. I was using my macadamia one, but I, I had this huge like salon size <laughs> bottle of it and I just, I was ready to try something else even though I love it. Don't get me wrong, I love that mask. But this one has been working out really well for me. So if I were to suggest one, it would definitely be this one. Don't have any complaints about this. Works really well, conditions my hair. I always use a hair mask when I do put conditioner in my hair. That's the only thing I use on my hair because I only wash it about twice a week. And I always use a mask, so been loving that guy. These were kind of a random purchase for me. But I saw that Sephora had a couple new brushes on the website when I was looking at just arrived section which I always do. I'm always on that section seeing what's come out so I can review products for you guys for my channel and I don't need any brushes but these caught my eye as I said so I picked up the Sephora number 42 Pro Drawing Blending Brush. It has a little cap on there to protect it and it's a very big blending brush. I don't have anything quite this large it also is rather tapered if you can see that. I used it today for my crease color and I think it did a pretty good job. I want to test it out obviously some more. It is synthetic which I do personally prefer as you guys know if you watch my channel. So I want to test it out some more for you guys before I let you know for sure but it's very soft. Nice and fluffy if you're looking for something really big. This is the biggest crease brush I have. Like look at the size of that compared to my eye. It's huge. And then Marc Jacobs came out with the crease brush. So this is the crease brush. It's much smaller than that one I just showed you. I love the design of Marc Jacobs brushes. Very sleek and also extremely soft. I have yet to use this guy but it's basically like a smaller version of that one. This one also is tapered so that's it compared to my eye. Definitely smaller so I'm excited to give that guy a try for you guys. Just wanted to pick up brushes. I don't often see people hauling brushes. So I wanted to haul some brushes for you guys. And then I also picked up the new Born This Way from Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder. This is what the packaging looks like. Same as all the Born This Way line. I love it. They have a nice little flip cap like the Cover Effect Setting Powder does. And it has a little heart if you can see that with the holes where the product comes out of. And this does have a little bit of a sheen to it, so it's definitely not matte. I would recommend this for those with drier skin types. It gives a beautiful glow to the skin. It's very natural. Like I don't see any shimmer or glitter in it. It just gives a glow. 
So I'm not sure if this is like the end all be all of setting powders. I do need to try it out a little bit more. I am wearing it underneath my eyes today, but I, I do want to try this out some more for you guys. My favorite setting powder is probably the Cover FX still. I would say this is kind of comparable to that if you do like that one as well. Definitely not mattifying like the Laura Mercier. It's more on the line of the Cover FX. But don't you guys feel like setting powders are the new highlighters? Like every brand needs to come out with their perfect setting powder now? I don't know. Is it just me? I feel that way. And Urban Decay the Velvetizer. So this is their translucent mix-in medium. They came out with this setting powder or what they're marketing this as. You can mix it into your foundation. It adds a little bit more coverage, also mattifies it. That's a trick in the makeup industry that's been around for a while. It's nothing new. They're just marketing this product as it and I think it's being very successful that they're doing that. But all you would have to do is take whatever translucent powder you have at home already Put it in with your foundation and it's gonna do the exact same thing so don't think that you need this product so i have yet to test this bad boy out i do want to try it as it suggests and also just to set my face regularly it's just really good marketing on their part urban decay you know what you're doing and then a product that i have been getting so much use out of that's already in my favorites it's the huda beauty 3d highlighter palette and this is the pink sand version and initially I wasn't going to pick this up as I mentioned in my favorites, but when I swatched this in store, the quality blew me away. So I have been using this so much. It's pretty messy from the amount of times I've used it. But if you're looking for a highlighting palette, it has a cream and then three powder highlighters that almost feel like creams. They're such a beautiful formula. I'd recommend this guy. Not that we need any more highlighters, but I honestly thought I didn't and then I swatched this in store and something about it made me have to buy it. So that's saying a lot. It's really good. I also picked up the new Sephora Make No Mistake Foundation and Concealer Stick. This is the only shade I could get a hold of because a lot of their shades were out of stock and this one I thought would be the closest match to my skin. It's in Oak and this would be more of a natural skin tone, probably better for winter. So unless I can get my hands on a darker shade, I'm not going to be able to review this right now, though I want to. But it looks like it blurs my skin. It's a little bit more dry compared to other foundation sticks I have personally tried. So maybe with a little bit of oil, this will work better for me. But it was only 25 bucks, so it's a lot cheaper than other sticks on the market right now. So I'm hoping this works, and then I want to do a battle of the foundation sticks on my channel once I've tried this guy. So I'm waiting to try this and I'm going to do like a roundup of all the stick foundation that I have that I can share with you guys because I think that would be really useful depending on your skin type what foundation stick that you might like. I also got the Clarisonic Sonic foundation brush head. Said I was going to pick this up and it was on Sephora so as soon as it was on Sephora I picked it up. Haven't used it yet. I think I will use it pretty soon in maybe a first impression video but you'll definitely be seeing this on my channel and I'm excited to try it. Everyone who I have seen use it says it really does blend your foundation well, so I'm very excited to use it. I've been back on using brushes as opposed to beauty blenders for my face recently, so I'm hoping that's like my new favorite brush. I also randomly threw this in my cart. It is the Sephora Rose Hair Sleeping Mask, which looks like this. It comes with a cap in this part, and then you have the mask in the bottom. I was thinking about possibly doing a full review on this to see how it works on my hair. I'm hoping it's enough product to saturate my whole head. I didn't really think about that since I do have long, long, long hair. But it should be enough, hopefully. So you're supposed to sleep with this at night as it suggests. It's a sleeping hair mask. So let me know if you want to see a review on this because I could do like a before and after and see if it really does make a difference with my hair. I got the rose one because it's smoothing and anti-frizz and that's kind of what I need. So let me know because I do that for you guys. And then on the Sephora app, which I always look at as well, it had, man, the Sephora app and website just gets me. Gets me. So this is the Fresh Sugar Lip Caramel Hydrating Balm. You guys know I love lip balms. I just love them. I go through them quite fast because I use them every single day day, night, you name it. I love them. And I'm obsessed with caramel. This, I'm just obsessed. The packaging of this is gorgeous, super sleek. 
I love the packaging. So this is what the product looks like. It just gives a really natural color to the lips. Not as dark as this, but very similar. Very hydrating, super smooth, smells amazing. No complaints. It's really nice. And then lastly, I have two skincare products. This recently came in the mail. This was my last little order that I placed. I picked up the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Detox Hydrogel Eye Patches. And I believe I figured these were the cheapest for the amount you got on Sephora. So that's why I picked these ones up because I just like how they feel underneath my eyes. I've used the Tarte ones, but you don't get many in the pack for the price. And I actually just had to go downstairs to get this out of my fridge because I do like to keep my eye patches in the fridge. You can see the packaging. And they just feel extra cooling underneath the eyes. A little spatula to separate the eye patches. I haven't even opened this up yet. So this is what they look like. Keep you updated on how I like these. But I feel like I need them underneath my eyes right now. I'm so tired. You will be going on my face tonight. And then the last thing I picked up is from Bliss. I was looking for a new eye cream. I was running out of my other one and I wanted to try something new as I usually do on Sephora. And it's the Firm Baby Firm Total Eye System. It looks like this. This intrigued me because I was looking at products for under eye hollows because you can see I definitely have that issue with my eyes. And that's the only issue that really bothers me with my eyes. This is basically an all-in-one product, but it has two sides to it. So it really helps target different issues you may have, which I love. I love that it has this upper lid firming gel. So I've noticed a change in one of my eyes. This one, it's getting a little bit droopy. So I need some firmness in that. That specific formula targets that issue. And then it has the under eye hydrating cream, which I was looking for something for hollows. And this said that this helps plump up hollow areas, also hydrates and helps with fine lines. So I'm excited to test this guy out, see if it works. I've only used this for a day and a night, so only twice so far. So I can't really tell you how it works because I really haven't seen a difference yet. I like to try out skincare for several months before I mention it on my channel, my opinion on it. But this is what it looks like. I love the idea behind it. It sounded really good. I haven't heard anyone talk about it. It was kind of just fell into my cart because of something that I had personal issue with and I want to see if it works. So I'll let you know. A lot of orders started because they had a discount 20 off of 100 for VIB Rouge. Finally something for us Rouge. And they also had some skincare which I wanted to try. I think the code was superfood and you could get a deluxe size of the Violet C Radiance Mask from Tatcha. And I was going to buy the full size of this but this comes with 10 milliliters and the full size comes with 50. I think I managed to get 4. I don't know where the other one is. I was using it though. So I thought that was a good deal because the full size is $79 Canadian and if I could get deluxe sizes with my orders. I'm gonna save my money. And also at one point in time, they had Tom Ford little lipsticks. So that's what made me get an order. Man, this is what made me buy something. But I love Tom Ford and I think it's so cute. It's in the shade Indian Rose. And I know a lot of you mentioned this to me that you were getting it as well. And you told me, you gave me a heads up. But I always give you a heads up when there's good coupon codes. You guys share that with me as well. So I love that we help each other out. We help each other spend. So nice of us. That's everything for my Sephora haul. Cumulative, obviously, Sephora haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching as always. I appreciate your support, sharing my videos, liking them, commenting, everything you do. I appreciate it so much. So thank you so, so much for the support and I will see you all in my next video. Hate the word crease. Crease. It's just as bad as moist. Moist crease. <laughs>